What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Google Mobile Services on the Huawei P40 Pro, the P40 Pro Plus, this also works on the Mate 30 Pro and basically any Huawei device that doesn't run the Google Mobile Services. Once you have everything installed, the, all the Google apps will work normal. So this is the YouTube app, this is Chrome, I have Google Photos here, um, the Google Play Store um, works fine. So basically all the Google apps will work on these um, devices and I've installed this on the P40 Pro Plus. This is the P40 Pro Plus and also on the P40 Pro. So it works um, fine on both devices. Now keep in mind that I didn't come up with the idea for uh, this video. I've actually seen someone else's video but I didn't like how the, the video was made. The phone screen was just too bright and I couldn't see on the screen. So I decided to kind of make a better version of that video. But if you want to see the original video, there will be a link um, in the video's description. All right, so for this installation, you're going to need a USB drive. So something like this. Now, if you have an SD card and an SD card reader, this will also work. So you basically need to copy a zip file onto this and you're going to connect this to the Huawei P40 Pro or the P40 Pro Plus. So if you check uh, the video's description, you're going to find a Google Drive link in there and uh, in there you're going to find um, a zip file. So download that zip file to your computer and once you've done that, copy that zip file as it is onto the USB drive that you're going to be connecting to the Huawei P40 Pro Plus or the P40 Pro, whatever um, phone you may have. So once you have that done, um, I'm going to show you the next um, steps. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you the step-by-step -step, um, instructions. Make sure that you don't skip any steps because if you do, this is not going to work and you're going to have to start them um, all over again. Okay, so after you copy that zip file on um, a USB stick, on an SD card, whatever you have, um, basically something like this, the next thing I want you to do is do a factory reset on your device. And to do that, you're going to open the settings app. Here you're going to go down all the way to system and updates and here you're going to press reset and reset phone. Keep in mind that whenever you're going to be doing this, all the information that you have on your phone will be erased. So do this and whenever the phone is back up, um, come so you can see what you have to do afterwards. I've already done a factory reset on the phone just before um, this, so I'm not going to do it once again. Alright, after the factory reset, you're going to get your um, USB stick or your SD card, whatever you may have, and you're going to plug this in um, your phone. And this is going to stay plugged in um, for the duration of um, the video, so for the duration of the installation. Next, you're going to open the Files app, so this one right here. You're going to go to USB Drive. If it shows up like this, just press um, on this one and then go to USB Drive. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And you're going to see the zip file right here at the bottom. So here you're going to hold this pressed for a couple of seconds. Then you're going to press more. Then you're going to select extract to. And the same one that's um, here, so the current directory. Press OK and just wait for this to be done. So now you have the extracted folder right there. So you're going to leave that right there. And um, you're going to open the settings app again. And here you're going to look for apps. You're going to click on apps and here you're going to press on the three dots at the top and you're going to select show system processes. All right, so here you're going to search for backup. You can see it right there, so click on this one. You're going to press for stop and then you're going to uninstall this. That's simple, so now it's gone. Right, so you're going to exit this and go back um, to your files, so where we were um, before. Okay, so we are going to open this and here you're going to see five steps. So we're going to start obviously with step one. So you're going to install the first thing here, the one APK. Select don't ask me again and press allow and install. Done. And then install the second one. done. All right, next we are moving on to this one. So with this one, you're going to select it. So click on it for like two seconds, then select more, then extract to and uh, the current directory. Next, you're going to move this file to the following location. So select it, then press move 
and then select other location here at the bottom select the USB drive and just move it here and it's gonna ask you this and just say apply to all and merge next you're gonna exit the files app so exit this open the settings app and scroll all the way to the bottom to system and updates here you're gonna find the backup and restore so enter here click next agree so here you're gonna select external storage we're gonna select the usb storage we're gonna select what we have right here so that and you will click restore and it's gonna ask you to enter the password and this is the password right here so enter this password just as you see it right here and i'm gonna have the password on the screen as well and of course press ok and this is done all right so you can exit all this now so now you're gonna notice that you have that app installed but you're not gonna open it right now next you're gonna open the, your files app once again and again we're gonna go to this file here where um, we extracted that um, at the beginning here we're gonna find step two so with step two you're gonna install the first um, app here so this is um, like a shortcut maker i'll show you what that does in a bit so click install on that one and click done now exit this screen go back here and you're gonna open this so the blue g it's all in chinese say activate allow and press uh, whatever it says here with the uh, in chinese and let that running in the background you're gonna go back to the files app and you're gonna install all these done you're gonna install the next one install done 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 and the last one and you're gonna install and click done and you can exit this Okay, next you're gonna look at those apps that got installed and you're gonna open this one, so the yellow one. So this one right here, you're gonna press OK and you're gonna scroll down till you find Google Account Manager, so this one right here. So click on it once and you will see type email and password and type email and password. So I want you to click on the first one, so the first one of these type email and password, so this one right here. You're gonna select try and it's gonna ask you for a password but there is no place to actually type an account so you're gonna press uh, the three dots at the top you will uh, press browser sign in press ok and here you're gonna enter your uh, gmail account so the gmail account that you want to use uh, on this particular uh, account so I'm not gonna show you mine and my password obviously, but enter your account and your password and after that you're gonna get an error. So I'll uh, enter my uh, account and password and then I'll show you the error that you're gonna get. So as I said, you're gonna get an error, but that's fine. Just leave it like this, so don't close anything. Just let it um, run in the background. All right, so next we're gonna go to files. We'll go back here. We'll go back once again, USB drive. And um, we are moving on to step three. So here we're gonna install this. To install this is gonna be the same as before. So just click on it, install and done. And once you've done that, I want you to do this and open uh, where uh, we had that error before and click next. So now you're gonna start getting a bunch of uh, notifications here um, saying that uh, the Google Play Store cannot work on this uh, device. But don't worry, we're gonna fix that um, shortly. Now, even though we get those errors, the Google Play Store should be working, should be working. So as you can probably see, this is the Google Play Store, but we are gonna continue getting those uh, notifications with some errors because Google isn't exactly supposed to work on this device, but um, we'll get to that and we'll fix those notifications. All right, so um, next um, you can close everything that you have running in the background. We're gonna open the settings app 
and here we're gonna go to apps and here we're gonna search for apps of the, uh, the top and then search for Google here we are going to uninstall the Google Play services, so click on it, you're going to press for stop, again, and then click uninstall. So now that's uninstalled. Once this is done, you can get out of here, you can once again close everything that you have running in, the, uh, in your background and go um, and open files once again, the USB drive and the same file that we opened uh, before. And uh, we are gonna go to step number four. Here you're gonna install the Google Play services. So just click on it, it will get installed and then the notifications will uh, start coming back uh, on. But again, I'll show you how to get rid of the notifications eventually. So click done and you can exit this and you can already see the notifications um, right there. So next you're gonna open the settings app and um, you're gonna open apps once again. Here you're gonna go to apps all the way to the top. You're gonna search for Google once again. Here you're gonna press the three dots at the top. You're gonna select show system processes. And um, you will see here um, the Google um, service services framework. So click on that. At storage, clear cache, clear data, go back for stop you may have to do this a few times till it actually closes okay so now it's closed oh, too late so when it becomes great then you can uninstall it basically and that's it now you got rid of that now you're gonna exit this and once again, you're gonna close everything that you have running in the background. You're gonna open files once again. You're gonna open the USB drive. You're gonna open um, our file there. And we'll go back to step three. And here you're gonna install the Google um, services framework. So the one that we just um, deleted. So install this one and uh, done. Once this is done, you're going to exit, you're going to close everything that you have running in the background and you're going to try and see if the Google Play Store still works. There is a good chance it may not work, but if it doesn't work, just uh, close it once again and then open it um, once again. And if you give it a couple of uh, minutes, it should come back. So just in case it doesn't work. Now I waited a bit, so it works for me. And um, we'll also clear these... Uh, notifications so those um, warning notifications that I was getting before so you're not getting those um, anymore all right next um, we are going back to the settings app here we are gonna open apps once again apps once again and you're gonna search for Google once again here we are gonna uninstall the Google Play services once again so press for stop you may have to do that once or twice uh, in my case it worked the first time and uh, click uninstall so we got rid of that you're gonna exit this actually we're gonna close everything and then you'll go back to files and the USB drive and our folder and we're going to step 5 and we're gonna install Google Play services once again And we'll wait for a bit. And done. Once this is done, you can exit this, you can close everything. And next we are gonna do a restart. So just hold the power button pressed. Remove the USB stick. Actually, let's do a power off first before you remove that and now you can remove the USB stick and now we'll power on uh, the device once again I'm trying to see if those uh, notification errors will come back I haven't seen any a couple of um, seconds ago so I'm hoping that they're not gonna come back but that's what we are trying to find out if those notifications um, will come back 
if they don't come back everything should work okay but um, we'll just wait um, a bit for the phone to start up again and then we'll check and see if uh, the google play store works Ta-da! Right, so for example, YouTube. YouTube. So we'll install YouTube, we'll install Gmail. We'll install Chrome, I guess. We can install Instagram. <laughs> So yeah, now we have uh, the Google Play Store uh, running on this device. So let's see if YouTube works normally. Oh, so I can see my account there. That's my old account that uh, has like a thousand um, subscribers. So yeah, you can um, watch YouTube normally and all the other apps should uh, be installed shortly. So now that everything works normally, I want you to uninstall that app. And to do that, you're going to open settings, you're going to open apps, you're going to click on apps, and all the way at the bottom, you're going to find uh, this and just uninstall it. Deactivate and uninstall. We'll close everything that we have running in the background. And um, we'll check and see if uh, the Play Store works normal. So the Play Store still works um, fine. All the other ones, uh, these two basically you can keep somewhere, you can hide them in a folder or something just in case you need to sign in um, with a different account um, in the future or something like that. If we open settings and accounts, let's find users and accounts, you can already see your Google uh, account um, right there. So yeah, that uh, that's how you install uh, the Google mobile services on the Huawei P40, P40 Pro Plus. Uh, this probably works um, on the Mate 30 Pro and so on. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Once again, thanks to whoever made this um, original video that I was able to recreate um, here, basically. And now I'm gonna get uh, the Google Play Store and uh, the Google mobile services on all my uh, Huawei devices because I do have um, a few right here. Alright guys, um, hopefully this works good for you. Don't forget to leave a like and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.